yes. now and turn on the lights on our motoring flavoured tree. Yes, and I'd like to go first, please, if I turn on the lights that I've made using the back lights from various cars. Look! That's Christmas, yeah. isn't it? Oh. I'd like to add my lights to the festive tree, which I've made out of uh, indicators, so they're orange and they flash and they're warm. Are you ready? Oh, How Christmas about that, yeah. then? Yeah. That's very... Right! No! <laughs> Why not? Do not switch on whatever you've made. Why? Because you'll blind everybody in the tent. Why do you always think I'll have overdone it? Because you always overdo it. Ready? <laughs> oh, dear God! Look at that! Why are you grimacing? Don't encourage him! It's a bit bright, I admit, it but... It is bright, you've burnt people's eyes out. Still, at least I had my new spotlights. Ah. Well, they're dud. They make no difference. Oh! James? Yeah? That's not a light, that's a collapsed sun, isn't it? Yeah, never mind that, look. Mine is actually <laughs> comes to, up to my nipples. I didn't realise it was... And yet, do you know what the other thing is? If I actually find Richard Hammond, I'm not going to see him, am I? <laughs> I'll just run straight over him. You noticed something else about mine. This entire vehicle is a transportation device for its own spare wheel, look. That's all the back's full of. Is... That's really stupid. I decided to ignite my collapsed sun. Right. Clarkson! I've never, ever encountered a light like that on the front of a car. Very funny, but could you turn the big light off? Only when you speed up. Turn the light off! It was a long, horrible drive, but mercifully, when we were just ten miles from Hammond, we found a lodge where we could spend the night. Oh, God, Hammond, the back of your car lights up with a stupid viper when you brake. Oh! <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. First gear. Brake lights. Brake lights. They're on! They're not. Well, the brakes are on. Well, the brake lights aren't working. That's an MOT failure. It's more than that, mate. The wire for the brake lights... <laughs> the wire for the brake lights... Yeah. ..is on the floor, isn't it? Ah, under the concrete. Yes. Are you saying that rear lights don't work? Well, I'm not blinded by it, look. No, that no, one's no, not working, but that is. No, but when you're driving, when you're driving there's nothing wrong. Normally, this would put the world's least practical man in the marina. But, for the first time in his life, he decided to try and fix something. If I mend this, you lot... Are going to have to stand back in amazement. The thing is, he's actually genuinely he's changed so he's the bulb. I mended bulb. something. He See this here? Look, he's turning right on a red light. That is America's only contribution to Western civilization. Guys, how far away is the hotel? How many hours? Uh, it's about two hours. It's getting dark already. It does that. It does that nearly everywhere. Yeah, well, at the risk of stirring up a lot of laughter, I haven't got any headlights. <laughs> what happened to them? The fuse blows. I have a suggestion, a way we could stick together and stop. What suggestion? What if we just stopped and camped? Small, ear-mounted, human indicators. I you kid you not, oh, this is... I have to just... Right, what happens is, I'm walking along, say, in a shopping centre. Here I am, in a shopping centre situation. Oh, you'll be the crowd. OK. Now, there's a danger of jostling happening here, cos I'm going to go in that shop on my right. Yeah. Well... Uh, Jeez, you can indicate! <laughs> so now you know and you can take evasive action. And you can go left? Yeah, if I'm going... I might go... Actually, I fancy the record shop over there. <laughs> And everybody uh, knows what's happening. Oh, it's a very good gift. Human indicators. 